Game. My name is Garrett, and welcome to episode 47 of A Killer's Trap. I'm making a game called Space Revenge Force, a tycoon game where you build, research, and market a lively business to save the most alien lives. This is a devlog of the development of my game, my karate training, and my career as a game developer. Commander, are we ready to go? Yes, sir. Let's have some fun. Update 1. UI improvements. Last week when I started improving the UI, Sam Hogan made a great suggestion about making the background panel tileable to make things much easier. Sam is the man. So that's what I did. I redesigned the background UI panel, so now I can just put it into Unity, set it to tileable, and now it looks great no matter what the size is. Andrew Price had recently made a tutorial on making a million donuts in Blender, and although, yes, this is not Blender, <laughs> um, he had some great points about making tileable textures, which if you're interested in, I will link that in the card, I guess up here, um, so you can check it out. I also made a higher quality version of the pie chart, which is basically, I just went into Photoshop and made a giant circle, um, but that looks much better. And I tried implementing Unity's outline system and it looks pretty good, but there's some issues with it. So I'm gonna try to improve that later as well. The UI as it is right now, is pretty much in place. Everything is going to be where it will probably end up being. I just wanna improve the look and the design of it. Training. My karate training is going great. I am still working on back handspring and also am trying to do some more combo. And my singing training is going great as well. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer game. Psych Monopoly! Then one foggy Christmas Eve. Update two. Worker bug fixing. So I spent a long time this week working on improving the system, the worker manager system for improving stuff with how workers are placed, make sure they're snapping correctly, make sure they appear correctly, make sure you can place them whenever you should be able to and, and can't place them when you can't. There's just a lot of different bug fixes and improvements with that. What about these? Okay, most of it has been fixed. Um, it, it was really just a lot of time um, that I spent fixing all these. I honestly, probably this week is the most time I've spent on working on the game than I have in the previous a few previous a lot of them to be honest but there's not much visible progress since a lot of it was on the back end which i mean is good in a sense but not much you can see but i promise you the code looks much better it's not perfect but it does look a lot better project overview i've spent 400 minutes on art 1670 minutes on programming and 60 minutes on animation up to this point and here is a timeline of the game development cycle of Space Revenge Force up to this point. Update 3. Keyboard shortcuts. Games in House suggested a while back that I implement keyboard shortcuts for the different UI functionality, and I also think that is a great idea. Games in House is the man too. Right now you can open up most of the different menus of the UI through these keyboard shortcuts. It's not perfect yet, but the basic functionality is there. I'm probably going to add individual shortcuts for each room rather than just opening the building panel. And I'm also going to make it rebindable so you don't just get stuck with what keyboards shortcuts I think are good. You can make them your own. Question. I just finished my last final and I still have some money left for my meal plan. So what I do, I bought a large Domino's pizza. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, what's your favorite pizza topping? Because I got a lot. Thank you all for watching. Thank you so very much. Uh, I mentioned a few people in this video who left some great comments, but I could honestly spend the whole day shouting out everyone who has ever left a comment. I still appreciate them all and I read all of them. I really do appreciate it a lot. In addition, I want to say Merry Christmas. I hope everyone has some great holidays. I'm going to still post, so I don't think I'm going anywhere, but I hope you all have a great holiday if you're celebrating or not. And I hope you all are doing well. Thank you for watching. I love all of you. And I will see you in the next devlog.